You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Hey, Henry. Look at this beauty. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> Got him on you, old goat. Come here. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher, in my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. 
What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. How? You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose a Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're stark raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosch's cronies are. Well, all right. No, I'm quite... Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, as a cheek. One should not believe in the church, because the church is not God. God is above all things, and the church is but a means to salvation, which the prelates do not care to hear. He's right. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, humans, hunger, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in, is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution and the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame, shame upon them. It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the... They play dot. Look to your... Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man.
God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls, instead, blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you, and... Aye, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. That spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, Dallas. A young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he tongue. Came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. He told it nicely. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer. That... How are you? How's trade? Don't even remind Pulling my pistol. Folks, he's <laughs> lugging a corpse. What's his place coming to? What did you do to him? God, someone call the guard. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> <laughs>